Hey, welcome back to my Instagram um, series and today I'm actually pretty sick so it sounds like underwater but I'm also in the bathroom which is my darkroom. So I promised I would show my darkroom. I did it like two weeks ago and that's what started this whole idea of doing um, Instagram live and recording at the same time so you know it's not just something on Instagram but you guys can check it out later. So yeah, I want to show you my darkroom. This is actually like my third or fourth darkroom so far. And um, I'm pretty proud of this one. I actually work with wood, which doesn't mean that I know how to work wood. So yeah, all of this was done while I was waiting for my second daughter to be born. So she took like a week more to, to give birth, basically, my wife, uh, to give birth to my daughter. So yeah, I built this dark room while I was waiting. So now I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to show you guys around. Okay, so you guys can see this is my dark room. I'm gonna come in and come out just so you see. Okay, this was just a wall that I closed. As you can see, this was a door and I closed it and I put a door there. So this is my dark room. I got a little lock just in case no one wants to come in or do anything. I also have a lock on the inside so no one opens that. Once you come in, I've got my lights and I have my fans. My fans, you have, this does an outtake, so this takes air out, which is always the hot air comes to the top and it takes it out, and the inside comes in through the bottom here, onto the floor, as you guys can see, I'm a bit of a mess. So yeah, this is the door, we lock the door. I have some shelvings here with extra bits and pieces, some chemistry, uh, gloves, um, more chemistry, um, some chemistry for making like cyanotypes and stuff like that back down there with some syringes um, So yeah, that's basically what I have down here on this side. I have some books light bulbs um, Temperature and humidity these are all notes because the enlarger used to be here um, I have some gloves more filters and these are color viewing filters which for those that have never done color printing this is what you need to actually see properly what you need to do for filtering. These are filters with different colors and it tells you subtract, add, or whatever you need to do when you're doing color. Then we have, um, this is, I don't know what you call these, but demo. These are to basically click letters and stick them to chemistry. So I use this for whatever I want to label. And you might think, oh, this is like an old tech one, like there's these digital ones. Well, the digital ones erase because they're thermal. So this is actually more practical. Look, you'll see where I use that. You see? These won't erase. They're permanent. Okay, so then I have a hair dryer, which I use to warm up sometimes um, the room. If it gets very cold, it's not the best way. It moves dust and stuff like that, but it works. And then I have some color paper and some extra bits and pieces. So yeah, this is my wet side mostly. As you guys can see, it's not clean from last time I was here. I have a hose. This is a, I did myself, is um, a sink. This is made with um, like waterproof wood and then I painted, out, painted it with silicone, like um, liquid silicone and that's how I did it. I have the water intake, it is the only place I have water even though this is an old bathroom, that's the only place. So this takes water all the way to the Jobo, takes water to the washer, and takes water for this hose. This hose is a great idea to have this whole hook thingy because you can use just you know the hose as a hose or you can use a spray or whatever. These are all my tanks that are drying from the last time I was here. These are huge um, tanks, the Jobo 3063 which I use for ultra live format and then all the Jobo reels and things like that that are there ready you know to dry and keep on printing then we have some chemistry here I have some film clips and stuff like that some chemistry up here I have a dehumidifier here that one's an old one that's broken and then I have another one down here let me take that off I have another one down here because this is underwater basically. I live next to the ocean and this is actually like uh, three feet, the floor is actually three feet 
like on top of the ocean. So the salt comes up through the walls as you can see and I need to take the humidity out. So yeah, this is my wet side. As you can see, it's not very big, but I made it custom so I can put in, I think it's um, 20 by 24 trays if I ever need to do 20 by 24s. And then I have my print washer, which I got in uh, Madrid, which is um, Kostiner. I think it's a German brand. And um, another tank drying over there. And um, some trays on the top. Let me give it more light. There you go. Trays, extra parts from Jobo, more trays, small trays, and those are negatives from the other day. Those are 11 by 14. I hang them here, which is not the best place, but it's the only place I have in my darkroom where I can hang film. So yeah, when I um, hang 135, it's so like long that it almost will touch this, so I can't do anything else. Then moving down here, we have these are like screen prints, I mean screens that I use to dry my prints. So yeah, these are handmade. This is just mosquito net plastic because I didn't want metallic net. And you can have your prints over here. That's an old picture that I don't like. And I made enough to have like, there are six of them. I have enough to make another one and these would um, be able to fit one meter by one meter in there. I have some extra chemistry and old stuff there, a stool to go all the way up there, and um, that's some chemistry, that's some um, super fixed tetanol, and some multigrade from Ilford, which is what I use for paper. If you want to know what I develop all my film in, it's Kodak HC110, that's all I use. Then going on to the dry side, which is not all dry because we have a Jobo over there, we have my enlarger, which is a Devere um, 5108. I have my filtering here because it's um color enlarger, color head 5108. Um, this was actually something I never thought I would have, and that's why I bought my 11 by 14, as you guys watched on the ultra large format video the other day. And I love this thing. It will do 8 by 10 as big as I can in this darkroom. It's mounted on the wall, as you can see. I even have this piece of wood to hold it because it's so heavy on the top. I'm limited by the top, as you can see, it just fits up there. And on the bottom, I never made the idea that I had to come out so much. So if I need to do big prints, I pull this out and it holds. This is my easel, which is also Costner as the um, print washer. And then I have here just bits and pieces. You have like film to develop. I have some film from New York this summer, which I'm running really late. Um, have some more film over here. Some Jobo Safe Light for color printing. If you're doing color, you shouldn't have any light. <coughs> so this is the only thing you can kind of use and it has to be very far away and very mild. Um, some 11 by 14 film. The other day I pulled it out just to kind of show people. As you can see, this is x-ray film, doesn't have any notches, so that's why I cut with scissors a little edge on the corner. I have some prints from a friend and um, bits and pieces. This is my timer analyzer. It's actually a timer. It's an f-stop, um, a larger timer from RH Designs. It's made in England and it actually works really well. I'm going to change it for a Hayland um, soon, but so far I'm using this. Then I have my negatives here, which probably shouldn't be here. All my, um, you know, my plastic sleeves for my negatives. These are 4 by 5 and stuff like that. As you can see, I told you the water goes through here. I have it inside one of these, so it does leak. Hopefully it won't leak on top of anything. And then I have my Jobo. This is the Jobo um, Autolab 2200, which is totally automatic. All you have to do is fill these six tanks you program it and then you click start and it'll do it itself it will agitate it will um how do you say empty the tanks by going up and it all goes down to over here so i cut out this on the table so i can take out my old chemistry if i want to recycle or not so that's what this does and this is on top of an old bath as you can see it's really old and really dirty but this bath doesn't have a proper drain, so I have a little pump that pumps it out all the way to this old toilet. I'm sorry that it's kind of 
small and disgusting, but it works for me. Then these are all spare Jobo tanks. This is a 3005 for 8x10 film, the 2520, uh, 2550, 2560 if I'm not wrong, um, and a bit more bits and parts. I used to have do color all the time, so I have these tanks, which basically would have little taps, as you can see, for E6. I used to have C41 here, and also black and white. As it's in a bathroom, it's actually pretty useful to have space to write your notes. As you can see, I have like little notes on stuff like that. This is all made by me. There's a light, one's not working, my red light, which is all I have right now. And then I have some switches here to take, you know, control of electricity on this side of the darkroom. And this is basically it. Um, under this table, we have my stock of um, black and white paper, which is Ilford warm tone uh, glossy finish. And then we have the stuff for the enlarger. I actually don't know what that's called, but that's the diffuser for 4x5. I have my lenses. I have more negatives over here. I have some paper and a paper safe from Jobo, which is very useful. And um, here I also have some paper, postcard paper, which is um, pretty cool. And these are all expert tanks, the 3010, 3006, and 3006, which I have two times. So yeah, that's basically my darkroom. Um, if you guys want to see how big this is, it's basically from one side to the other. I can't even stretch my arms, and here I barely fit myself, so I wouldn't be able to have two people in the darkroom. So yeah, that's my darkroom. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I will try to post it as soon as possible. And uh, remember, you. this is basically... Wait, let me just turn this around. Basically, what I do photography-wise, I like the darkroom. I don't like the whole sitting on a computer, editing pictures, and printing them on, um, on a printer. I enjoy coming here and touching my film, loading tanks, and getting my hands dirty. I don't know why. I guess some people like the computer part. I like getting dirty and gritty. I don't do this for a living, so it's kind of fun to get out of the you know, normal life and routine and come in here, put some music, and um, develop my film, come out with prints, which is what I really want to get to, is just getting my prints on a wall. It's probably my house, not, you know, out on a proper gallery or anything, but I still enjoy it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, see you tomorrow in the next video. And if you have any suggestions that you want to see, let me know.